All right, guys, we are at a, another Walmart this week, going to check out their hunting and survival section and see what they have at this place this week. guys we're at the camping section and we're gonna see what's in stock so throughout the recommendations I've been getting for the $3.97 knives this seems to be the one that keeps getting sent to me in pictures so I might pick this one up soon and actually check this one out so we're checking out some of the sleeping bags and apparently when you go camping with your chihuahua you can bring him with you no I'm just kidding those are samples of what the material is Okay, it's kind of hard for me to show you this aisle, but this particular Walmart, I was kind of worried about it because I've never been to this one, and it is completely, completely stocked. So, it is getting ready to gear up for the cooler weather, so it's not an idea, a bad idea to start um, stocking up on things like this if you're in a very cold environment. But um, for 10 packs, only five bucks seems to be a pretty cool solid deal. If you guys find a better deal on this, please drop down in the comments and let me know. So this one's kind of interesting. It's from Ozark Trail. Looks more like it belongs in a Doctor Who episode than it belongs outdoors. But the double AAA, um, oh, only 50 lumens, and it only lasts for two hours. That, ugh, I don't know if I like that. So this could be handy, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. I can hold all of it in my hand. If you get any small or medium size rips or tears or any damage to your tent when you're outdoor camping. For $3.97, I don't see this as a completely bad idea. So this seems pretty legit. Um, I've never seen it, but it's a folding stove. Looks like it folds down pretty small, but it's not very big. But the plus side, $4.98. I keep finding this damn Navaja everywhere, <laughs> but apparently it's free. I guess uh, we don't gotta pay for it. This is kind of interesting. An explorer's tool, a multifunction compass, and binocular set. I probably would prefer to have these separately, but I don't know. Considering the price point at only being five bucks, I might bring it onto the channel and check it out and see if the viewfinder can even do anything with it and if it works, but who knows? You can never have too much paracord, but something I noticed is it's only $8.94 and when I go online I usually pay 10 bucks plus shipping so saving a dollar now this seems like a potential good deal it's 50 bucks but it's a three-day kit for three people and it comes with a backpack I'm interested to know what's in here but um I won't be able to pick this up today but I'm definitely gonna um, make plans to get this on my channel pretty soon uh, speaking in the terms of cutlery, this is kind of cool. I know a lot of you guys don't necessarily like Ozark Trail, but I've got two alternatives for you. This is the 7-in-1 um, utensil utility. Fork, knife, spoon, corkscrew, cannon bottle opener, all, and lanyard ring. But they seem pretty big. But the uptick on this, it's only 4 bucks, so I might actually pick this up because I feel it's a little more useful than a knife and a spork potentially gives you more options and around the same price point for the plastic light my fire two pack kit this emergency poncho was a really good throwaway item you can just drop into your sack and not care about but it's only 97 cents so this is the barracuda by ultimate survival technologies it has a slightly fatter head on the end i don't know i have no experience with these kind of um machetes but it does come with a pretty large fire steel and they were nice enough to give you a sheath but I think the most interesting factor it's only 15 bucks and at that price point it seems like a decent deal it depends on the edge and if they actually spring temperatured or not and how well the edge actually holds paracord wrap seems pretty cheaply done it seems like something you could fix on your own pretty fast but this might end up being a decent find. Clean drinking water is magnanimously important. But this is something different. I've only seen this maybe one other time, so I wanted to make mention of it because I, I haven't seen this a lot. 
but it basically gives you an ability to have a sport bottle way to drink from the bottle or directly from the pouch things like that or to put into a bigger um, container for boiling and cooking so this is an alternative I'm not gonna lie this one's a little more pricey than the Sawyer mini water filter at 30 bucks but like I said I mean as an investment I don't think this is a bad idea it can filter a, an amazing amount of water you don't need there's no pumping no chemicals no waiting Apparently, according to them, no worries. So as per usual, this is my favorite section, is the knife case. Uh, they have some decent ones, but the one I'm kind of looking at right here, you guys can see it, is the Air Ranger. It's sub 30 bucks. I've heard decent stuff about it. It's got a drop point on it. It's a decent, looks, it's supposed to be a decent knife. But, and some of the Kershaw's, like the Kershaw Cryo is a pretty popular blade, but there's nothing super new that's come across in here yet that I've seen. So I'll keep a lookout and see if there's any new folders coming across. And if you guys see any stuff at your Walmart, definitely drop in the comments. Let me know if there's anything cool. So this is the first for any Walmart I've been to. There's an actual archery section, which is pretty neat. And there's a selection of arrows and quivers, broadheads, a bunch of stuff like that. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, not I mean this I don't know I, I'm kind of stunned they don't have the one I'd actually be interested in it's a little pricey it's 350 bucks that's probably the one I could actually hunt with but um yeah I was just figured I'd share that I've, if you guys have seen an actual organized stocked hunting section drop down in the comments let me know where you've seen it along the same lines of the hunting uh, section where all the archery stuff is I came across this I literally almost skipped it I don't know how but it's a six piece kit, it's only $34. But you get quite a bit, you get an actual carrying case that comes with it, get several knives for cleaning and stripping, sharpening. I mean, that doesn't seem like a bad deal. I'm not very familiar with Camillus. I'm usually not a big advocate of what I dare say, super budget friendly knives, but I dare say that I'm gonna start giving them a try, checking them out, because I know that's where a lot of my viewers are picking them up at, so. This is a pretty cool find. I like this idea, camo knitting. Definitely used for hunting, however, uh, it's 10 bucks, but for what you could use it as is concealing your location um, if you are camping. So if you don't want people to be able to just look over in the distance, look up on the hill and be able to spot you very easily, this could be used as a basically a safety precaution in an emergency. This is something I find often overlooked is your ability to carry water. Now I know a half a gallon gets really heavy pretty fast. However, if you have a team effort and even not initially an emergency, this can help you carry a lot of water pretty portably, but it's really cheap at about five bucks. But this plastic is really sturdy. This stuff is really handy. I, God knows I grew up on this crap. And what I like about the, what made me bring this one up is it got hooks on the handle right here. So on either side of the handle, so if you have a line in your campsite or somewhere in your tent, you could actually hang that up. I'm here at the subway, just got done checking out, and these are the three items I actually picked up today. Um, like I said, guys, it's really, uh, it gets kind of expensive for me to keep buying stuff every week, so um, just by you guys watching is a big, huge support for me. However, this is the grand total, 14 bucks. And I was able to grab, hopefully, what ends up being a decent compass, maybe a binocular set. It literally looks like it belongs in an inspector gadget more than anything else. Uh, I did grab this knife, because this seems to be the one everybody's screaming at me to pick up. And I grabbed this uh, utensil, due to the fact that I have another utensil um, review that is already posted on my channel. This is the $4 pocket knife that I heard so much about. It's definitely off center. It's not bad though. It's a liner lock, G10, stone wash finish, three inch blade. Lock up isn't lock up isn't that bad. I like the pocket clip. It's decent. Gotta say, first impressions of this is not bad at all. I am thoroughly surprised at almost all of this. 
Most of it pleasantly surprised. Some of it, not so much. This one... What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Cool, it gives me like the Swiss Army thing, but this thing is so fat. It's like two inches. It's, it's enormous. It's very lopsided and awkward. And what you can do to de-awkwardize it is you open it up halfway, and then you can separate these two pieces. Oh, by the way, it isn't the most simple. There we go. And these two pieces are separated. It's like a very neat idea, but uh, it's just so weird. I just, I don't know. Okay, the knife. I actually kind of fucking like it. I was a little surprised how much I actually liked it for four dollars. And this is the one, one of the ones that everybody was screaming at me to get. The G10 is nice and smooth. There's not a lot of rough spots. It feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, the solid, the lockup's actually solid. The lockup on that is pretty early. It's not a bad little freaking knife. This is definitely, um, I always consider Moros to be extremely cheap. And this is definitely, for me personally, for some people, may, they may like this knife and use it every day as an EDC thing and treasure it. Other may, other people who are like-minded, it's getting close to that, um, may find it up as a throwaway knife. Me? It'd be a throwaway knife. I will probably end up... Uh, testing this if it does adequately, and I'm not going to abusive test it. I know that if I abusive test this thing, it'll probably fail. So keeping it as a simple throwaway, really, really chintzy everyday carry that I can do light to medium tasks with, and not really, you know, not really worry about it. I'll probably buy two or three of these and just kind of have them floating around. So if one breaks, whatever, I'll replace it on a whim. I mean, I've paid more for a pack of gum and a and a and a drink before. I mean, it's that's not that bad. Now this got my attention. This was insane. And I apologize. The video is longer than it should be. There is a mirror. And check it out. So you undo these lenses just like this. Let's get this mostly straight. And you pop these out. And you look through it this way. You know, small or large. But as you turn the dial to counter, you know, focus your lens at about 50 feet away, about 20 feet away. This was absolutely perfect. I actually saw things really clear. I was kind of surprised how well this worked. Still feels very Inspector Gadgety, but I was kind of, <laughs> it was laughable for a minute until it worked. And I was like, well, I'll shut up. Um, they have a nice reflector so you can signal for help if you need to. And the compass seems to work decently well. And that, oddly enough, actually is north. Yeah. I've got no complaints. Um, for how cheap all this stuff was. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to take them out in the field, test them out, have some fun, do some in-depth reviews with them. But so far, initial impressions, pretty positive. Uh, this kind of, uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that. It's so much slimmer. It's not all funky and psychotic and bulky. Now, granted, this is like 15 bucks. It's more expensive. And this stuff is only like four or five bucks. So there's a difference. But... I don't know, for simplicity and the ease of use and the fact that it won't just aggravate the ever-loving shit out of me, I might tend to lean to pay over to a little bit more money. So, but, who knows? This thing might change my mind. It might not. So I'm still going to give it a review and test it out and eat with it, do other stuff with it. If I get a chance to go camping before the video comes out, then I'll do that. If not, then oh well. But that is it for now. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. I'm out.